HBC Digest Radio, welcome back to our featured interview with uh, luminaries and leaders from historically black colleges and universities. Today, a very special interview. It's not often uh, that we get to cover uh, band culture here with the Digest, but we will do just that today. Uh, talking with leaders from two bands who collaborated for a pretty historic performance in North Carolina. Joining us today, Mr. Michael Magruder. He is the director of bands at Winston-Salem State University and Tim Heath, the director of App director of athletic bands at wake forest university and you guys are on the heels of that historic performance uh at a wake forest football game uh where winston uh and the wake bands uh got together and and gave a pretty uh stellar performance so first congratulations to your boat to you both um michael we will start with you first uh and then tim you join in um with your perspective on it how did the conversations about this joint performance actually get started well, for me, Dr. Heath called me and asked if this was something that we could possibly do. And I, I thought about it for a second and said, absolutely. If this collaboration is something that um, we could make happen, I thought it would be good, just not for both universities, but for the city of Winston-Salem. And Dr. Heath, from your perspective? So we were looking at ways to uh, collaborate with Winston-Salem State University and um, I thought of the idea that we could, you know, use the the two bands uh, during halftime, and it was a, a great opportunity for us to to be able to explore possible um, collaboration ideas. And I called Dr. Magruder and just asked, you know, hey, would you be interested in this? And I had no idea if he was going to say yes or no. We don't have time. And he was like. Uh, like just like he said, he, he kind of paused for a second and said, yes, this would be a great idea. And I said, great. So let me think a little bit more about this, and I'll be in touch soon. And, and that's, that's kind of how it started on our end. So how long did it take to put this kind of performance together? Because fans kind of see on the back end, you know, the finished product. But what does it take to get two bands together, practice time, uh, arrangements, Formations. What is that like, and, and how warp speed do you have to move to make that happen? I'll let Dr. Heath start that conversation. <laughs> sure. Uh, so when we started looking at uh, a possible date, um, we were like, let's go for the, the opening game. We thought this would be a fantastic way to do that. The there are a, a timeline to start and go ahead and move forward. The thing that was a little tricky for both bands is that we were – in band camp, and I think Dr. Magruder, they were, were almost wrapping up band camp, and we were just getting started with band camp. So we were also, you know, learning everything that we we're supposed to be doing for our, our normal home games and just throughout the season, working on our, our own individual halftime shows. And um, I think we had roughly maybe three weeks total to get this, get, get this together. The tricky part was there was not really an opportunity for both bands to get together to rehearse until the actual game day. So just trying to determine how we could make that work. And um, there was several phone calls, several text messages, several emails, uh, kind of looking at the timeline and, and, and picking a, a piece of music. Um, we didn't have anything arranged. Uh, we actually purchased a, um, a piece that was already published. Um, I, I, for me, I thought that would probably be a little easier on both of us, being able to get that into the timeline and um, also working that into rehearsal schedules to prepare. And just to follow up on what he mentioned, it was pretty tricky because we were wrapping up band camp. We didn't have any immediacy. We didn't have a football game ahead of us that next week or so. So we said, okay, well, this would be a good starter for us. And working the music in was easy. Thanks, thanks to you, Dr. Heath, for providing the music. And he also provided the drill positions for both bands. So we worked those in as we continued to work throughout band camp so those things were easy for us and you know then this is another big moment for winston-salem state university we're used to big moments so things really worked out really well even the day of practicing it worked out really well so we know that band culture is really really unique and really tight uh for musicians they take it very very seriously and they take it seriously for life and that's not just exclusive to HBCUs, but bands all over the country at all different kinds of schools, even down to high schools in some places. Did you have any hesitation from your musicians or your alumni? And this is to both of you. Did anybody kind of say, you know, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. We have, you know, we're, we're, we're all marching bands, um, but we have pretty unique cultures. And I don't know how I feel about melding the two. Was there any hesitation there 
from many of your stakeholders and how did you deal with that? There was no hesitation on the part of Winston-Salem State University fans, alums, nor the students. We did not hesitate to indicate that we wanted to participate in this event. Uh, we wanted to kind of get an idea as to why this time of year, why this particular game, but other than that, we thought it was perfect for us to start the season, and, and it all worked out really, really well. So on the Wake Forest side, I, being the new director, um, I didn't really know my students um, that well when, when I brought the idea up. I had been with my leadership camp for um, one day, and I brought it up to my leadership first, and I, I had no idea if they were going to be excited or hesitant, and I can say completely they were 100% excited. I mean, smiles on their faces. They were like, yes, yes, please, let's do this. <laughs> um, and on the, the side of our fan base, I, I have heard nothing but positive feedback. And I, I never heard any, any negative hesitation or anything like that prior to the event. You mentioned that uh, you're going to seek out opportunities to work together in the future. Um, what would that look like? Would it be for other games? Would it be home and home agreements? Um, what did the logistics look like that, or what does the timing look like? Does it have to be something you plan out, uh, you know, with a lot of time in, in mind or, or, you know, months in advance? Knowing how it works now, how do you create other opportunities to work together? Yeah, that's a very important question because I don't know how we'll be able to create another opportunity like this based on our schedules, our varying uh, schedules in terms of football seasons. Uh, if this is something that could possibly happen down the road, uh, Dr. Heath knows that he can reach out to me. We'll be readily available if, if we can work it out. Absolutely. I, I feel the same way. I think it, it's uh, a little bit of variables with, with scheduling and um, just, you know, timing and, and just kind of seeing how each year uh, falls into place. But I think overall, um, I, I feel like this is the beginning of something that could potentially um, expand. Now, what that looks like right now, I'm not sure. Dr. Magruder and I haven't really had much time to, to kind of sit back and talk a little bit about that, but I hope that com conversation continues, and I, I feel like this is, you know, just the, the first step to many other collaborations. And, and I also hope that it'll expand past uh, just the marching bands. I hope there's, I think there's lots of room for, for other areas.